Hello, my name is Kristen and this is Kristen Craze Books. I'm finally getting it together to film my Ramathon TBR. I need to film and edit this today so I can get it up tomorrow, which happens to be a leap year, so thank goodness for that extra day. If this is your first time hearing about Ramathon, it is a month-long readathon. It's happening in March and it is hosted and created by Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy. I'm gonna leave her announcement video down below because she goes into great detail about how everything works. Just know that I'm a co-host and you have to join Team Creation. That is my team. I'm co-captaining that team with Hannah from Hannah's Recent Reads and we're really excited about it. If you have a lot of blue books on your TBR, this is the perfect team to join. If you're an animal lover, please join us. And I would just love to see your faces there. There's a Discord. It is a really great readathon for mood readers because I know a lot of people are mood readers. This is a fun one for that. There are going to be a ton of reading sprints throughout the month of March. You're gonna get sick of seeing my face. You're gonna get sick of seeing this hoodie. It is so cute though. This is the merch that Cassidy designed for the readathon. There's just so much information. You have to check it all out. There's a Google Drive that we'll leave linked down below as well because it tells you all of the prompts and some frequently asked questions and things like that. But for team creation, the way to get bonus prompts, every team has a way to get bonus prompts, but for us it's blue books, so books that are 50% blue, and that includes the back of the book but not the spine, and books that have animals on the cover. So I went through my shelves and I'm really trying to find books that have both of those things. So my TBR for March is definitely a pile of possibilities because there are so many books here. Just I found so many that worked and I found a few that are just blue, a few that have animals on the cover and aren't blue, then I have some buddy reads and things like that happening as well. So. These are just going to be the books that I'm going to choose from throughout the month. I don't think I'm going to get through all these, but with all the reading sprints happening, you just never know how much reading I might get done. So another way to get bonus points I want to point out is to read books with school settings. I think I have a couple of those on my list, but just know there are a lot of fun ways to get points for your team. You even get points based on the page number of your book. So if you're a mood reader and you've been intimidated by readathons, I think that this one is a perfect one to check out. So we're going to dive into it. I'm going to start off with the three buddy reads, book club reads that I have for the month of March. And of course I don't own any of them. So we'll just go through those. The first one is Gravebriar by Casey L. Bond. And this is a March book for the Black Hat Book Coven, which I am a member of. And this is the first time that I got to choose a book. So please join us and I hope that this goes well because it's always so nerve wracking to choose a book for a book club. And if you've ever been a part of a book club, you will know that a lot of the times Book clubs are cursed. It's hard to find a book that goes over well. This is a book that I just happened to grab on one of those Stuff Your Kindle days and I've been thinking about it ever since. KCL Bond is actually going to a Polycon and I know a lot of you might be going to that as well because it was like a bloodbath to get tickets. That is a very popular conference that's put on by Jennifer L. Armentrout and this author happens to be going there so now is the perfect time to read this book and then meet her in April, just throwing that out there. It's on KU. There's an audiobook, so hopefully it's accessible for everybody. All I know about this is I think it's a witch and a witch hunter. Our main character is a poison witch in a world where everybody else is a nature witch and has green magic, so she's hiding this from everybody. I've heard that there's a great mystery. It's a YA fantasy romance and that it is being compared to Caravelle because it has a magical carnival setting which you might not have expected from the cover. So that just sounds amazing. I can't wait to discuss that with the book club. We're actually going to have reading sprints on St. Patrick's Day so you can read that book with us or read whatever you want and we are having a guest coven member this month, Crystal, and she's going to be hosting the sprint so I will leave a link to her channel down below and it's always fun to have somebody else join us for these discussions and I hope she likes the book that I chose. And then we're going to talk about the book on my channel, I think April 7th. It's a Sunday because the last week of March is Easter and we know so many people are going to be busy so we push it back a week. So that's everything you need to know about that book. And then I am continuing on with my buddy read of the Thursday Murder Club series with friends on Discord. I just finished the second one this morning and I almost cried. I wasn't expecting this one to be emotional. I know that the fourth one is, but there's just something so endearing about the characters and you get attached to them and when sad things happen or even sweet things happen to them, I tear up. That's just who I am. So I really liked that book. I'm excited to continue on with the series. The third book is 
they built up that mist and this is perfect because there's an animal on a cover all of these covers have foxes on them so I'll get those bonus points from that and it'll be nice to read a mystery in between all the fantasy that I have lined up for the month and then I'm actually buddy reading a book with somebody who is part of team creation because they are reading Powerless by Lauren Roberts and I thought I might join that because I know that's a Cassidy favorite even though she gets nervous when people pick it up but I've been seeing it everywhere and I don't think I've seen a bad review for it yet. This is another YA fantasy romance. I think it has a school setting. I could be wrong about that but I know that there is a competition. It just looks like a good time to me and one of the prompts for the readathon is to buddy read so that's perfect for that. So all three of those books will get me that buddy read prompt as well. So excited for all three of those. Okay, let's go through all of my blue books with animals on the cover. The first one is The Judas Blossom by Stephen Aaron. This is obviously very, very blue, very, very blue. And there are two horses on the cover, if you can see them there. So getting all those points. And this is actually one I've been really curious about. The publisher reached out to me and asked if I wanted to finish copy of this. And of course I jumped on it because when this first came out, it was getting a lot of buzz, but it's severely underrated from what I can tell on Goodreads. Not a lot of people have actually picked this one up. So I'm hoping I find a bit of a hidden gem here. This is historical fantasy and I've been really leaning into my love of historical fantasy this year. This is different from what I typically read because it's set in 2060 Persia. So this is deep historical fantasy. Uh, a lot of the historical fantasy I read is more like 1800s early 1900s, not 1260. So that is interesting and I think our main character in this is Genghis Khan's grandson. So I'm curious how that all plays out and the sequel to this comes out at some point this year and this is just the perfect excuse to pick it up and I think it's on the longer side so I will get some more points for page number as well. The next one is one that is one of my favorite covers ever. This was a cover buy for me even though the book it does sound really good and this is The Surviving Sky by Kritika H. Rayo and you cannot deny that this is one of the coolest covers ever. It's very blue, a lot of blue on the back and there are birds throughout the cover so I'll get those points as well. This has been personally recommended to me a few times. I think it got a little bit of a mixed reception last year but it seems like the kind of sci-fi that works for me. It's like cli-fi climate fiction and we're following a married couple who's in trouble and they have different opinions on the politics in this world so I think that is something that I can get into. I've said this before that I've been nervous about this one because it's compared to the fifth season which is a book I love but need to take time with but if I don't read this now when am I going to pick it up? It's too perfect for the readathon. I have really leaned into watching reading sports lately Chances are that if you're sprinting, I'm watching. I just am bad about commenting. I'm always lurking. I need to start commenting more. But sprints really do help you read. Who knew? So being on them throughout the month of March, there's a better chance that I'll get to this. So yeah, I just have to do it. It's so beautiful. Another prompt is to read special editions. And I need to get through some of my fairy loot books. I've canceled my subscription at this point because I have so many that I haven't read. I realized I don't think I read one that came out last year. Maybe one that I didn't like. So this is one that is very blue. I picked up the bluest one on my shelf and this is Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burton. And I haven't heard too much about this, but I think I'm gonna like it. It's YA, it is fantasy, and it is about sirens. And look how blue it is, look how pretty. And I don't know if you can see in here, but there's a shark here, there's a stingray, perfect. It says, a duty to protect, a desire to kill, an impossible love. So it looks like we're getting another YA fantasy romance, which is something I really do like and I'm just leaning into the fact that that is a genre that works for me. And we actually have jellyfish on here as well. I don't read as many siren books as I would like because in theory I love them. So hopefully this one is a hit. Next is one that is out of my comfort zone. A few years ago it so would have been my thing but since joining booktube I've really leaned into fantasy and I don't read as much literary fiction and contemporary these days. But I heard great things about this. This is Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. And look how blue in the back. And obviously there is a giant octopus on this cover so I had to include it. This has some magical realism though it does lean literary which makes me think I will like it because that's something that I really tend to vibe with. And I think that this is just about a woman who visits this aquarium and does this octopus talk to her? They have some kind of friendship that develops, a charming, witty, and a compulsively readable exploration of friendship, reckoning, and hope that traces a widow's unlikely connection with a giant Pacific octopus. 
So this could be amazing or too strange for me, but I've heard amazing things. A lot of people on Bookstagram in particular were loving this when it first came out and too perfect for the readathon, so I had to choose it. If you've been around the channel for a minute, you know that I love these YA classic remix books that have been coming out. There's the Little Woman one, So Many Beginnings, one of my favorites. Tasha Suri has one. But the, I think this is the first one that came out, A Clash of Steel by C.B. Lee, and this is a Treasure Island remix. And I'm not as familiar with Treasure Island. So I haven't really gravitated towards it, even though I've been loving all the books in this series. I have a couple more on my TBR, not for merch, but at some point. I just love the whole project of these books. They take these classic stories, they make them YA, they give them more hopeful endings, and they're definitely more diverse. So I'm curious to see what this author does with Treasure Island. It's another historical fantasy, which obviously I love, and it is sapphic, and there's a great blue map in here, and it's set in 1826, so exactly my kind of thing. Very blue, there's birds on the cover, can't wait to finally read this. I used to be such a historical fiction reader, not historical fantasy, just straight up historical fiction when I was a teenager and into my early 20s, but I've really moved away from the genre, even though when I do read historical fiction, I often love it. But what I found for a decent price, and it just caught my eye, is Four Treasures of the Sky. And obviously it's blue, there's a goldfish on the top. But I have heard really good things for this. It was nominated in the Goodreads category for historical fiction when it first came out, and it says that it's a propulsive and dazzling debut novel set against the backdrop of the Chinese Exclusion Act about a Chinese girl fighting to claim her place in 1880s American West. And it's not that long of a book. I need to go back to my roots a little bit in terms of what I used to love reading and really it was historical fiction. So hopefully I can finally get to that. And then speaking of historical fiction, we have The Seed Keepers by Diane Wilson. And this is a beautifully told story of reawakening that follows a Dakota family struggle to preserve their way of life and one woman's search for belonging and community. Honestly, this was a cover buy for me because it's just so pretty, but I think I'm gonna really love this one. It's one of those ones that I've been saving because I think it's gonna be a favorite. Um, when I do read historical fiction, it often becomes one of my favorite books of the year. Like when I read Still Life by Sarah Woodman, that was the best book I read, I think in 2022. So I'm hopeful for this one. It's on the longer side, but that's good. I'll get the bonus points. And I just have high expectations for this one. And one I don't own, but it's short and will be perfect for Peace Talks. There is a weekend within March where all of the teams come together and we have like a Peace Talk and it's just about reading as much as you can in that weekend. And this one is Princess Flora Linda and the 40 Flight Tower by Tasman and Muir. That title is a tongue twister, I always forget, but this is a novella. Tasman Muir is an author who I've been wanting to read from. I read one of her novellas from Amazon and I really liked it, that one. But of course, Getting the Ninth, everybody loves. I will get to it, I'm just scared of it. But this one is perfect for the readathon. There's that blue sky. Dragons count as animals, by the way. So it looks like something that I will like. I need some cozy fantasy on my TBR and some quicker reads. So this one is perfect for that. And now just blue books. This is one that, that I kind of bought on a whim. I saw the author talking about it on Twitter and something about it really caught my eye. It is called The Lady or the Lion by Amna Qureshi and there's nothing more sacred than blood and the back of this one is very blue. This is Once Upon a Time in a very olden time. There lived a semi-barbaric king. This is not his story. And I know that this is in a Pakistan-inspired world. It's why Historical fantasy, say it to me again. That seems to be what I'm leaning towards these days. I think this is a really cool cover. It's a duology, and the second book is already out. So there's potential that if I love this one, I could pick up the sequel. It is not too long. I am trying to find some hidden gems within fantasy, and I'm hopeful that this will be one of them. I'm gonna try and read some Daniel L. Jensen in March. This was on my TBR for February. I got 32 pages in, and then I realized it was too perfect for the readathon, and to be honest with you, I've been a little bit slumpy and it wasn't the right time to pick this up. So I will restart this again in March. It's probably gonna be the first book that I pick up in March, because I just think it's gonna set the tone. The writing so far is beautiful. I think that this world is really interesting. This is an adult fantasy romance. It's on the shorter side, so it'll be nice to get through a book rather quickly. Look at this map. And everybody loves this. I've been personally recommended this many times. Some of my friends absolutely adore it. It's like their favorite book ever. So that's a lot of pressure, but I'm excited to finally try it. 
And then on that note, I pre-ordered this because I'm a sucker for a good cover. And I trust my friends that I will like Danielle L. Jensen. This is her newest book. It's called A Fate Inked in Blood. And look at this. I don't think that the camera can pick up how gorgeous this book is. Obviously, it's very blue. And it's a special edition. You'll have to let me know your thoughts on that one because this is the first printing edition. So after these books sell out, the next printings won't have this edge kind of like fourth wing with the stencil. So I'm leaning towards it being a special edition, but I'm not sure. But either way, I'm going to read it. It's so pretty and everybody seems to be reading it at the moment. And it's Viking inspired fantasy romance. And then one I don't own, but I feel like I had to put another Cassidy favorite on my list to get that prompt. And I think this will get so many bonus points for team creation it is The Will of the Many. And obviously it's one of Cassidy's favorite books ever. It's blue and it's a good page length. It's got a school setting. For as many times as I've heard people talk about this book, I know nothing about it. So that is an issue. And I'll probably will buddy read that because I think a lot of people on the team are reading The Will of the Many because it does get so many points. So hopefully I will get to that one. I don't have a copy right now. And then I have two books that just have animals on the cover I thought I would throw in as well. This is Soul Swift by Megan Bannon who wrote The Undertaking of Heart of Mercy, which I liked, didn't love, but I did like it. It was more of a cozy romance. But a couple of years ago, before that book came out, somebody recommended Soul Swift to me and said it might be something that I like. So here we go, I'm gonna try it. It says, within the stone lies a deadly secret. And obviously there's a giant bird on the cover here. Is the soul inside her a goddess who will save the world or a demon who will destroy it? So that alone intrigues me on that one. And then I was looking through this TBR and I noticed a severe lack of romance and we need to fix that. I have to have at least one romance on this TBR that's not a fantasy romance, that's something more contemporary. So I added Sitcom Star by Jackie Lau to my TBR. It just came out. I saw that she announced it on Instagram. Jackie Lau is an author who I discovered last year. I read her novella series, Holidays with the Wongs, and I thought it was really sweet. I really liked her writing. I liked the way that she writes characters and chemistry. This is another novella from her. I think it might be over 200 pages, but it's under 300. And I know nothing about it. The cover's cute. There's that white squirrel on the cover, so I would get those points there. And it's from an author I have been wanting to read more from. So I put it on my TBR, and it might be a good one for that peace talk weekend because I tend to get through um, contemporary romances pretty quickly. But yes, as you can see, this is a lot. And there are some new releases I wouldn't mind getting to as well. I thought maybe Where the Sleeping Girls Lie because I liked that author's debut and it's got a school setting, so who knows. But I'm really trying to get as many points as possible. So I hope you're gonna join us. If you've never done a readathon before or you're not very familiar with Discord, you can always message me on Instagram. It's Kristen Craves Books. I would love to help you out and I would love to see you on Team Creation. Let me know what you're reading in March, what's on your TBR. I will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.